Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing an outro. As I said, I do outros every Tuesday. So the outro I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finishing the jewelry box. So as I said, I was going to get some gl glitter spray paint, but I didn't have time today because I went grocery shopping, I did Christmas shopping, I got my eyebrows waxed, and the time was just running out. Um, so I'm just using some normal paints. I'm going to be using a light purple paint and probably a dark purple. I've got really cool paints here, so I'm going to be painting the jewelry box instead. But first things first, I want to do the inside of the box. So I was going to get some paper. So this is the paper I'm going to be using for the inside of the box, not a whole lot. But to measure the paper for the inside of the box, you put the paper down, grab your box, and then my ruler. Grab a ruler to measure. Same thing to the other side. Okay, so I've measured with the ruler. Now I'm going to cut this paper where the lines are out. I'm going to move the water because I need that for the paint. And I'm just going to the scissors. So that is so cool. Okay. okay, so there's the square of paper. I'm going to be gluing it into the box. But before I glue it in, it's still big. So it's not going to fit. So what I'm going to do... Let's do the triangle thing by cutting the triangles on the sides and see if that works. So now it's in like a circle now. And no, it's not working. So I'm just going to cut a bit more of the paper. And yeah, so there is it there. So what you're going to do is grab some glue and put a lot of glue and now it's all okay now I'm going to put lots of glue inside the box to put the paper in it Okay, now I want to grab the paper and pop it in. Before I do that, I want to fold the edges. And place it in like that. And then push it in from side to side. And stick it in. Grab a ruler to, to place it in properly because you want it around the edges and you want it neatly. Um. Oopsie. Okay, so I've done that. So that is what I've done so far. How cool does that look? Now I'm going to be grabbing this side of paper and I'm going to be putting it on the other side. So here I go. Grab some glue. Okay. Pop this paper in. Oh. Okay. And you just move it a bit. So it's just. Okay. So that's what I've done, and that will have to dry. So that's what I've done for inside the box. It looks really cool. Okay. Now while that's drying, you can still paint it. So that's what I'm going to do. 
So I'm going to be using some light purple. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush. But because I want to paint it, like really, really paint it, I'm going to use this paper and I'm going to be popping the paint on the paper. And no, it's not going to be just all purple. It's going to be really cool. So I'm just going to grab some paint and start painting the box. Hope you guys are having a good night or a good day. So if you can see there, let's get in there. Probably a bit more purple. And see, looks good, eh? But if you wanted to um, make the color the, the colors go, which I'm just gonna do like purple, um, like that, and then I'm gonna do some glitter and stuff so it looks really good, which I'm gonna show you later. Now we grab some purple paint. To do the other side. Now this is a bit darker. Oh, oops, touching the paint. So I'm going to paint this purple. So that's purple. So that's that done. Now I'm going to do the next side. I'm going to grab some black. And you want to get all the um, colour off if you want it black, so you've got to keep painting, which I am. So it is a process that you have to keep doing. So I'm going to grab some more black paint. I'm sure that was a lot of paint. And it's just getting all the colour off, or well, painting over it, but yeah. So if you can see through there that it's just all black. Now then I'm gonna do this side. 
this I might as well. So I'm just colouring, uh, painting all this black on this side. So that is all done. Now I'm going to have to let that dry. Um, so I'm going to just pop that on the piece of paper to dry. While that's drying, we're going to paint the lid. Now I'm going to paint the lid. I thought of a dark purple would be best um, because we want it to more. It's, it is for a girl. Um, she's a she's a, a mother. It is for my sister, and she's a mum. Um, so I'm thinking light dark purple would be the best. So what I'm going to do is paint all this at the back. A black, which one did I yeah. But this side, I'm going to paint it a dark purple, but I want to leave the red out a bit, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab some purple paint and then I'm going to paint in purple. So that's what I'm doing. Well, it might look a bit black. But it's going to look good when it's finished. So just That's what I've done so far. You can see. Now I'm going to add a more purple. <coughs> Just trying to get all the yellow out. Oh, there we are. Done. So if you can see that, that's what I've done so far. Now I'm going to turn it around and do it again. So I'm going to actually paint right over this red thing. You can see it's all purple. I'm just going to paint over it the red because it's just a purple. Now, while this is still wet, this is what I wanted to do. Is I wanted to grab some glitter. So I've got this really cool gold glitter that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this brush and just tap onto the glitter, and I'm just going to put some glitter on the lid.
So what you do is to do this, you let the paint stay wet and then apply the glitter. So that's what I did. And because it's Christmas, it's just really nice to have a glitter jewelry box. Just a bit more glitter. I'm trying to get as much glitter, just so it looks so good. Especially on the thing I painted. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is going to dry. Look how cool that looks. That is lots and lots of glitter. When it dries, it will look much better. Trust me. But yeah, that's going to dry. Because I still need to paint the bottom, which I can't do it yet because it needs to dry. So, we are going to go back to this one. Paint's still a bit wet, you can tell. Now the base, I want to paint that a black, so that's what I want to do. So you put your thing upside down, okay, and I'm going to grab some, actually I might paint it yellow, see how it goes anyway. So I'm going to paint it yellow, and just rinse my brush a bit. Oh, this doesn't want to test paint okay. So I'm just going to paint, going to look a bit of a, a greyish colour because I paint, use this brush again, just tried to rinse it but there's too much black on it. But it doesn't matter, it's going to be a nice beautiful um, colour. So what I'm doing is just painting the bottom. Might have to add some black because it is going to be really good with yellow black. Yeah, so yeah. I think black is better. Just use black. So I'm just painting all the bottom of the jewelry box black. And then if you want to grab to the corners, you just grab the brush and pull it to the corners. What I'm doing now. Which I'll show you. So you grab this brush, and then this little like a corner there, and you put it to the corners. I'm just painting the orange now, black. And now I'm just going inside with my brush. Trying to get the green away. But just now while that is drying, before I let it dry, I'm going to add some glitter again. But first, put my brush in, grab some glitter. I know it's it's the bottom of the jewelry box, but it's always going to have some glitter. So I'm just grabbing a brush, wetting it. Make sure it's not stiff, it's going to stick a bit. Okay. To make sure it doesn't go stiff, it's from all the glitter. Anyway. No. No, she needs from glitter. So 
let my brush dry and then I will show you what I've done. That is black and glittery. If you can see. So yeah, that's the bottom of the jewelry box that needs to dry now. So why I'm gonna let those dry. I'm just oh, my hands. Um I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do next. Um okay, so if they don't dry tonight because I painted them, then I will do another the end art show tomorrow night because I haven't got anything planned. Um so yeah, so if they don't dry, I will definitely do the end of the tree box show tomorrow. I promise. Um, because I, I think I need to because I haven't bought the jewelry yet and there's a few things I want to use for the jewelry box to make it more out there and I just need more colour, more glitter so I might have to finish it tomorrow night unfortunately um, because I didn't know that I was going to use paint I thought I was going to use spray paint but paint it was so and the paint is really wet um, which I don't want to wreck it so I'm going to have to let it dry overnight and I will definitely show you the how to finish it on my show tomorrow night. So it will be like the end of um, the Jurita Box show tomorrow night. So yeah, because uh, next week I want to do something different for my art show, and which um, I'm going to show you how to make a money box. Um, which I'll show you that next week. I've got to get a few things for it. Um, so yeah, it's really very exciting. Looking forward to doing that for you guys. I am. So glad I've got a bin in here. Ugh. Like easier to throw my rubbish. Um, but what I was saying is, I would love to do a jewelry box. Uh, not jewelry box, a money box uh, for next week's show. Um, but something a bit Christmassy, and I'm going to show you how to, to make something like this as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use glass. I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but I'm going to show you how to make um, one of those globes that you shake. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to do that as well with one of my art shows. I don't know if I'm going to do that on the next week's art show, but you're going to see it before Christmas, I promise. So I'm sorry that... I won't be able to show you the end of the jewelry box tonight. As I said, it's drying, it's wet, my hands are covered in paint. Um, so I have to let it dry overnight, which I'm going to do that. But tomorrow, I'm going to do, do the um, art show tomorrow night of how to finish the jewelry box, with um, how we're going to finish it by decorating it, and we're going to put more effort, like I'm going to put more effort into it, like um, make it really nice for my sister. And I'm going to buy some jewelry tomorrow and show you what jewelry I'm going to put in it and so forth. So, yeah. So, if you liked my art show tonight showing you how to paint the jewelry box and make it look nice. And just have a talk with you guys. Um, which I will um, talk to you now. Um, I'm doing a live stream. Uh, probably... Um, challenge Friday Friday night I'm thinking about doing a live stream for my challenge um, which I'm still sorting it out so I can do it for you guys that'd be like I'm just really want to do it for you guys um, and I want to do a QA and a as well so if you've got any questions to um, to ask me on the live stream this Friday night you are welcome to ask me any questions you like um, when I started you well if you've watched it already I've already told you why I started YouTube and so forth um, but you can ask me other questions too, um, whatever you want to ask me, I will be happy to, um, tell you. Um, so yeah, so, um, I just want to say thank you very much for all the sweet comments and the support on my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jennifer McBride, um, I do shows every day except Sundays, and, um, yeah, and if you have subscribed to my channel, um, there is a bit uh, difficulties at the moment with YouTube. Like, um, so if you want to know my notifications when my shows are going up, don't forget to press the bell, and it will tell you when my shows are up. And um, 
if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you have, um, you still subscribe to my channel, um, because it did say I've still got 90 subscribers, but YouTube's still fixing my subscribers because it still says 77. Um, but yeah, so if you are subscribed to my channel, and you still want to be within my channel and watch my shows, as I said, I do shows every day except Sunday, uh, except Sundays, don't forget to make sure you check on your on the subscribe to make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you're not and you were, don't forget to press on it um, to make sure. And um, don't forget to press on the bell for the notifications to let you guys know when my shows are up. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. So don't forget to have a good night, a good day. I love you lots. Thank you very much for all the support, the sweet comments, and have a good week. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Bye.